Hello, Warren G. Harding. This is Thursday, October 10th, 2024. I'm Derek. And I'm Jaden, and here's what we have to close your week. We appreciate seeing so many of you taking part in Spirit Week this week. Today, you'll see some tacky tourists around the building. Tomorrow, there's no school, but it's game day versus the Cardinals of Cardinal Mooney High School. The student section theme tonight is ESPN. Come dressed in your favorite sports team jersey from around the world. Come cheer our Raiders onto a victory at Molokov Stadium. Then, the big day is this Saturday, October 12th. It's the homecoming dance from 6 to 9 p.m. It's the around the world themed dance in the Warren G. Harding Cafetorium. Tickets are now on sale. Tickets are $15 per person. In order to attend, you must be in the W. Tickets are cash only. Any questions, please message Don Harper on Teams. Attention Quiz Bowl members, there is no practice today after school. You will resume regular practices again on Tuesday. Once again, no Quiz Bowl practice after school today. Now, for those interested in bowling for our Raiders, Open gym for both boys and girls teams will run every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 3 p.m., starting today at Freeway Lanes on Parkman Road. It will cost $2 a game. Please have the money with you when you come to the bowling alley. Plan on bowling a minimum of two games. Open gym is not required, but is highly recommended. Hope to see everyone interested in trying out at the lanes. Attention members of the Bible Club, the meetings on the 11th and 18th are both canceled. Once again, Bible Club members, there will be no meetings on the 11th and 18th. Now, here are a couple announcements dealing with the Drama Club. The next meeting is Monday, October 14th, after school in room 2200. You are making chocolate-covered pretzels for the Sweetest Day fundraiser, so be there. Finally, next week, the Drama Club will be selling cute little gift bags, including some candy, stickers, and chocolate-covered pretzels and other little goodies during lunches October 14th through the 17th. The gift bags will be delivered to first period classes on the 18th. Bags are $2, so get a sweetie for your sweetie or some booze for your boo. Attention Upward Bound participants, this is the man mandate for this year on the track virtual curriculum. Students must complete weekly modules on their own time. Four modules are equivalent to one service credit towards your stipend. Also, it's important to know in order to participate in Engagement Day, you must have attended Pass to College programming and have the academic year from form turned by this Thursday. Turn your paperwork into Miss Austin, Brown, or Warfield. Warren City Schools is hosting its annual Stuff a Cruiser in conjunction with Warren Police Department and Orin on October 19th at the Warren Police Department from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Please come support all of our Warren City pantries by dropping off various items that the students in our city need. Ladies, are you looking for dresses for homecoming prom? Gentlemen, do you need to step up your formal attire? Please use the link in the setup to, to set up a time to look through some of the dresses. Men's dress clothes and shoes are in our inventory right here at Warren G. Harding. If you find something you like, it's yours to keep. You will be contacted by Mr. Martin, Mr. Miss Meese, or Miss Roar via chat message to conform your appointment. The next Key Club meeting will be today, October 10th in room 2124, starting at 245. Once again, Key Club members be at the meeting after school today, October 10th. This concludes your updates for today and for the end of the week. Enjoy homecoming writers, have fun, and stay safe. Hey Raiders, it's Rose and I'm back again with some more information on the Warren G. Harding Quiz Bowl team. We just recently had our first meeting, but in case you missed it, we will be continuing to meet every Tuesday and Thursday right after school in room 3215, which is Ms. Hunter's room. Questions or concerns? Hit up Ms. Hunter on Teams. Don't forget to bring your brain. What's good Raiders? I'm Z Bands. And I'm G and today we have for you guys a very special announcement. Two sentence spooky story challenge. Have you dreamed of being a published writer? Here's your chance to get your story published on the WCS Warren G. Harden website in the yearbook and on WSEN. Yes, there is a catch. Your story is limited to two sentences. Here are the rules. Choose a genre. One of the following genres could be horror, paranormal, mystery, or science fiction. Write your two sentence story. Use specific vocabulary. Consider your audience. Nothing too graphic and check your punctuation. Submit, submit your story online. There will be a link on your guidance team or you can fill out a paper version found in the cafeteria and turn it into the library. Watch for submit, submissions posted in the library and in the cafeteria. Yes, there are prizes involved. All entries are due by the end of the day on October 31st. And that's all we have for you guys for a very special announcement. Peace. Hi 
everyone, I'm Aubrey, and today I'm here with your birthdays. We don't have any birthdays for Thursday, Saturday, or Sunday, but happy birthday on Friday the 11th to Emily Pinion, Karina McDonald, and James Graham. That's all we have for you guys. Happy birthday. What's up, Raiders? I'm Nita. And I'm Kennedy. We're here with your sports for the rest of the week. And in the background, we got Jay. Hey, guys. Okay, so your Lady Raiders varsity volleyball team defeated Cheney in three straight sets. Leading the way was Simone Pitts with seven aces. Jane Falk, I mean, Simone Pitts had seven aces and six kills. Jane Falk had nine kills for the offense, and senior Sonia Pitts had ten assists. Senior Trinity Walker added two blocks for your Lady Raiders. Senior Ava Green held down the defense with nine digs. Tonight, our freshman football team travels to Cardinal Mooney to take on the Cardinals. Kickoff is at 6 p.m. Our boys soccer teams host Canfield at home. JV starts at 5.30 with varsity to follow. Go Raiders. Tomorrow night at 7 is the big game, the big homecoming game against Cardinal Mooney, and the theme will be ESPN, so represent your favorite team. That closes the sports segment for today. Have a great day. WSCN weather. What's up, Buttercups? I'm Shay, and I'm here with the weather update. So for Wednesday, Wednesday's low will be 43 degrees between 6 and 7 a.m., and the high will be 62 degrees between 2 and 3 p.m. Thursday's low will be 41 degrees between 7 and 8 a.m., and the high will be 60 degrees between 3 and 4 p.m., and that's all, Raiders. Bye. I'm Kaylin. And I'm Mr. Whitaker. And we're here with your quote of the day. That's right. Just one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day by Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama, the Lama, he said one time to me, he says, Gunga, Gunga, Galunga. You've never seen that movie, have you? No. Okay, I have Gunga, not. Gunga, Galunga. Gunga, Galunga. Gunga, Gunga, Galunga. So I did it to turn a light mid, which I wish had that going for me. Anyway. The Dalai Lama says, one positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. That's true. It it, is. When you wake up, don't you think you need to start the day with the right mindset? Right. right. Like, life is, although we complain about it, life is the greatest gift. And so, I think if you start it with a positive mindset, you can tackle the day with mostly positive thoughts. Yes, so, I agree. So, thank you, Lama, for that great quote, and thanks for watching. Bye, Raiders. Bye. Hey, I'm Kendrick. And I'm Piper. We're here with your This Day in History. This Day in History, in 1845, the U.S. Naval Academy opens. And in 2004, Superman Christopher Reeves dies at age 52. Good morning, Raiders, and welcome to the last day of the week. I'm Sebastian. And I'm Andrew, here with your top five. Today's top five is the top five least reliable cars on the road today. At number five, we have the Land Rover Range Rover, known for luxury but often criticized for numerous mechanical and electronic issues. At number four, Fiat 500, which commonly reports problems with electrical systems and build quality. Number three, the Chrysler 300. While it has a comfortable ride, it frequently experiences issues with its transmission and electronics. At number two, Jaguar F-Pace. Owners report reliability problems, particularly with technology and engine performance. And at number one, the Tesla Model X. Despite its innovation, it has been noted for quality control issues, especially with the doors and electronic systems. That's all for your top five today. Enjoy the weekend. What's up, Raiders? I'm G. And I'm Nicoletta. And today we are here with your music review. For our song, we chose Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar. What's your thoughts on that? Booty, straight <laughs> booty. It is overplayed. I hear it all the time. It's on our freaking soccer warm up. No, that, bro, it's, y'all need to like block that song out of everywhere. First of all, Drake's This Is Better, Family Matters, like Ooh. that's way better. He that's doesn't heat. repeat his words over and over and over. It's just straight up, like. Like. Yes. Yep. It doesn't lie. Come on, Drizzy Drake, way better. Yeah, I don't know why y'all are hyping up Kendrick. Like, he doesn't know y'all, you're not gonna get any validation. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what would you rate that song, one through 10? A one. A one, <laughs> I would rate it a zero. Like, come on now. <sighs> I only rated a one because he is gonna pretty good money on that song. 
Yeah. I, I can't believe they're... Aren't they trying to make him be at the Super Bowl? I am, They better not because I'm going to turn, turn it off. That's so bad. Like, to, all right. Literally awful. All right, but that's all we have for our music review. Um, let us know what you guys write this song. Pookie. Bye, Raiders. Bye, Raiders.